Over six decades after political independence, we are still where we are. We have not solved one single problem. One, even as the one listed in uh, O.A. Lawal that we all read for why. Go back to that book, it's still in existence, and see if we have solved one problem since 1960. We should be, we should be embarrassed. The Nigerian ruling class is more than wearing big Agbada, riding air conditioned cars, and building mansions in Asokoro and other places. We should be embarrassed that as a nation, we have not made progress decisively in any sector. And part of the problem is what is happening with us. We are talking, we're going to be talking about our school children. You have governors with convoys of 20 cars, 30 cars. They are spending money to hire dogs, but they can't even build schools for their children. They can't feed the children once a day. What are we talking about as a people? Let's take ourselves more seriously, take our country more seriously, and do the right thing at the right time to save the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. Over six decades after political independence, we are still where we are. We have not solved one single problem. One, even as the one listed in uh, O.A. Lawal that we all read for why, go back to that book, it's still in existence, and see if we have solved one problem since 1960. We should be, we should be embarrassed. The Nigerian ruling class is more than wearing big Agbada, riding air conditioned cars and building mansions in Asokoro and other places. We should be embarrassed that as a nation, we have not made progress decisively in any sector. And part of the problem is what is happening with us. We are talking, we're going to be talking about our school children. You have governors with convoys of 20 cars, 30 cars. They are spending money to hire dogs, but they can't even build schools for their children. They can't feed the children once a day. What are we talking about as a people? Let's take ourselves more seriously, take our country more seriously, and do the right thing at the right time to save the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. Since this position we Governor Okowa gave me today among the data state judicial panel, we don't cause different names, different different story. Everybody say Jolov Dogo collect bribe, Jolov Dogo do this, Jolov Dogo negotiate on behalf of the people. Not be small talk, everybody don't talk, not be small talk. Now it don't turn to threats that they threaten my life and the life of my family, and also that they doubt my integrity. My integrity is all I have. I don't have money, I don't have anything. It's just my integrity I have. And you people are threatening my life and my level of integrity. On this day, 20th day of October 2020, I have stepped down from the Delta State Judicial Panel of Inquiry and I have urged you people to do whatever you want to do. But I don't want you guys to. You guys should not threaten the life of myself and the life of my family. And also, you guys should not stop out with my integrity. That is all I have. That is what I will keep, and that is what I will use till I die. Since you guys was a... DJ TV. DJ TV. <laughs>